Fardin here from Wolfing Physique and today we're gonna talk about training full body five times a week. Does it work? Does Jeff Nippert training program work? Today we're gonna discuss all of it. With full body training it's pretty obvious that you're going to be working your entire body every single session. That means, unlike the bro split, you'll be working your chest, back, arms, legs and abs all in one day. Usually a typical full body training routine will have you working out three times in a week with one day off in between each session. So Monday, Wednesday and Friday would be full body workouts and then the rest of the week you will be off. But what if you train your full body five times a week? Does it work for muscle building? Well, if we want to build muscle and increase our lean body mass faster, we want to focus on increasing the volume of our workouts and volume is measured by four factors intensity which is the amount of weight you're lifting and frequency which essentially is how many days a week you'll be working for a muscle group and then there's of course the total amount of sets reps that you're performing and increasing any of these four factors will help you build more muscle first of all i want to say that i have nothing against jeff nippert i think he's doing great work I just want to get that out there. I think that full body training works well for beginners, but not if you train full body five times a week, for example. I think it works better for beginners if you do it two or three times a week, but for really advanced lifters like Jeff, I think it works really well. So to explain, let's get into some science, bro. This will make sense. I promise you that. A study by Zorano et al. 2018 looked at 18 decently strength trained men. Their average bench press exceeded over 100 kgs. They were randomized to a program that trained each muscle five times a week with five body workouts or once or tried twice with a bodybuilding split. The authors forgot to mention that pull day trained the biceps and push day trained the triceps. So for the arms, comparison was a training frequency of two times versus five times. What is really interesting is that the volume of the two groups was exactly the same. So the two groups did the same amount of work in sets and exercises. So what were the results? The full body group made more gains. The most likely reason for the greater gains was that the full body group achieved a significantly greater total training volume in terms of total work. What I mean by that is reps and weight, for example. When you split up a given number of exercises or sets across more sessions, you'll perform more work. Just think about it. How effective are your squats after you did nine sets of other leg exercises? And how much work could you still do after nine sets of back exercises after you gave it you all? Not so much. So as long as you can recover from it, a greater training volume means more mechanical tension on the muscle fibres. And that means more muscle growth. The main benefit of full body training is to manipulate volume spread. You can dis distribute the same amount of volume over the week with less fatigue. Think about it. So it is more about fatigue management. You would never, never, never perform your ninth set of a bench press as effect effective than your first three sets of doing the bench press. You know where I'm going with this. Jeff also mentioned a study, the Norwegian Frequency Study. They took two groups of experienced lifters and put them into two groups. One group trained full body three times a week, as most people, and the other group trained full body six times a week. Yes, I know, six times, it's a lot. The six time a week group got twice as much gains and strength than the three times a week group. Because this study was not fully published, you can have a reason to be skeptical. I understand. But by my opinion, it makes kind of sense. Like I said before, the main benefit of full body training is to manipulate volume spread. You're able to distribute 
the same amount of volume over the week with less fatigue. They did try to replicate this study with early intermediate lifters for six weeks and found that training full body three times a week was just as effective as six times with the same volume. So a couple of takeaway points I want to give is that volume is the primary driver of muscle growth. Training frequency has a strictly secondary role. As long as you can put in enough volume in a program, you will not leave gains at the table. Why I think high training frequencies are an effective way is because you can reduce muscle soreness without limiting muscle growth or strength development. The benefits of training a muscle more than twice a week are probably more for advanced trainees like Jeff himself. I think high frequency training is arguably the way to go for a high advanced lifters. Research shows that higher training frequencies rival or outperform lower training frequencies, except maybe in beginners. Since high training frequencies are effective to increase training volume and seem to have no downside, I think high frequency training is arguably the way to go for highly advanced lifters. I don't do it myself. I do. I rather like a push-pull leg split, but at the moment I do another weird split. My training frequency for my upper body is much higher and that's, I think that's the reason why my upper body has grown so much. The split I am doing is, you don't will not hear it a lot, but uh, I give more attention to my upper body. So I do legs, push, pull, full body and push, pull. And maybe the seventh day I hit some weak points, you know? But you can see that I lowered the volume of my legs and my legs didn't achieve great sizes, well, to be honest, maybe a little, but I, 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 not a lot, not a lot, guys. So I think higher training frequencies really work well. And I think Jeff, Jeff's program will work really well too for if you're really advanced. So my main conclusion is full body five times a week could work really well if you're really advanced in training and you have a lot of experience i think i can do this and not be sore because i'm so used to training i've trained so much and for such a long time i don't really feel muscle soreness anymore and that is not a problem because muscle will grow because of mechanical tension so um yeah that's all i want to make clear this video i hope it was helpful and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. What are you waiting for? I mean like, come on, you have to subscribe to this channel because value right here, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. And uh, yeah, like the video guys and much love.